Hey Wasteland, I hope you're all having a good one. This is Atomic with an interesting discussion video today. Before I dive into it, I wholeheartedly hope that those of you who saw the season finale for The Strip Season 2 thoroughly enjoyed it. Season 2 was definitely the hardest one to produce out of the whole series, since each episode was written more than a year ago, and there were plenty of casting complications, and a long search to find a dedicated editor. Those problems were luckily solved, which is why you can find and listen to each episode today, either here on YouTube or on iTunes Podcast. For those that didn't see the finale, I highly urge you to see it, since it does incorporate something very significant to the Fallout New Vegas story towards the end. But anyway, the reason I'm here today is to discuss the future of the series. Don't be afraid, I still have a very well thought out synopsis for what happens next in the story, but my biggest roadblock is the format. I've been talking to a lot of people lately about how they would like to see the Walter and Bunny story continue. The reason I ask is because after producing this radio series for about three years now, it's been made pretty clear that the audio only production only adheres to a specific audience. The show has a tendency of being exclusive rather than inclusive in terms of viewership. It's not that I'm complaining about the views on my own project, but I would be a blind man not to notice the pattern here. In fact, the real reason the show's first adaptation was audio only was because I truly had no other way to get the story out to you. I am in zero reach of anybody who makes fan films and I know nothing about animation. Frankly, I was stumped about the format until I realized how much sense it would make if I made this into an OTR-styled audio drama. I mean, it makes sense. We have things like The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood, The Silver Shroud, and Fallout Strong Pseudo 1950s lore. It was perhaps the easiest and cheapest way for me to make this story come alive. But I guess sometime down the line, I had to expect that this wouldn't be the most choice type of entertainment. I generated a lot of hype for the first True Vault Escapade series, and the views didn't show for it at the end of the day, though they later did rise to decent levels over time. But to reiterate, this really was the only way I could produce this series. This was of course until later, the first Walter and Bunny Machinima came out with help of my friend Bubbles Gaming. My point was then proven because the Machinima's numbers made in a week what an average radio episode made in half a year. Ironically, the Machinima was taken down by some record company for some obscure sound effect we still can't put our fingers on. So now that season 2 is all nice and wrapped up, I'm going to be doing my best to introduce the next chapter of Walter and Bunny's story in a more visual fashion. Don't ask me if I have an idea, because I just don't know yet. But on the bright side, a script is being made for whatever format it will be. So I guess what I'm saying is that there's good news and bad news. The good news being there's no plans on stopping the strip, but then bad news being that there is no current path about the format. People as a majority prefer to see something rather than just hear something. And attention spans these days won't put up with certain things. That's why I feel if we ever want to get this series to the attention of the wider community and just more people in general, a change should be made in some way. So I don't know, just a little something I wanted to share with you all since I think it's time to turn over a new leaf for our detective duo. Again, if you haven't seen the season finale yet and are looking for something awesome to listen to, I highly urge you to either click the link in the description or follow the suggested video you see now. Until next time, I'm Atomic Wolf and I'll see you next time.